Seven decades since the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, around 80 new fragments of the ancient texts have been revealed to the public. Picture this. You're walking through a desert cave and you stumble upon something that's been hidden for 2,000 years. Something so powerful, so revolutionary, that it could rewrite everything we know about history and religion. Well, that's exactly what happened in 1947. And now, seven decades later, artificial intelligence has just cracked open secrets that will absolutely blow your mind. I'm talking about 80 brand new fragments of the Dead Sea Scrolls that have just been revealed to the public. And what scientists discovered using AI? It's not just mind-blowing, it's earth-shattering. So buckle up, because what you're about to learn will change how you see ancient history forever. Let me paint you a picture. It's 1947. A young Bedouin shepherd is chasing after his goat in the rocky cliffs near the Dead Sea. The goat disappears into a cave, and when the shepherd throws a stone to scare it out, he hears something break, something ceramic. That sound? That was the sound of history being rewritten. Inside those caves were jars containing scrolls that had been hidden for over 2,000 years. We're talking about manuscripts that included almost every book of the Hebrew Bible, everything except Esther. These weren't just any old documents. These were the earliest known versions of biblical texts preserved in the desert like a time capsule from another world. Scholars went absolutely crazy. They had found keys to the past, actual proof of how people lived, believed, and survived during one of the most turbulent periods in human history. But here's the thing that'll shock you. Despite decades of painstaking research, most of these scrolls remained a mystery. The fragments were so damaged, so faded, that even the world's best experts couldn't read them. Some pieces were burned beyond recognition. Others had ink so faint, it was practically invisible. Until now. Fast forward to 2021. A team of Israeli scientists decided to do something that sounds like science fiction. They taught artificial intelligence to read ancient handwriting. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a computer read something humans can't? Well, that's where it gets incredible. These researchers use something called hyperspectral imaging. Imagine having X-ray vision that can see layers of ink that faded away centuries ago. The AI doesn't just look at what's on the surface, it dives deeper, exposing layers of meaning hidden beneath fragile parchment that's been crumbling for millennia. But wait, it gets even crazier. As the AI scanned each fragment, its algorithm started picking up patterns in the handwriting that human eyes had completely missed. And these weren't just random scratches on ancient paper. These were clues, clues that would reveal something absolutely mind-boggling about who wrote these scrolls and why. The AI noticed irregularities in the pen strokes, letters that trembled, ink pressure that was uneven. At first, researchers thought these were just mistakes, sloppy handwriting from ancient scribes. But the AI saw something else entirely. It saw fear. It saw desperation. It saw people writing in absolute terror, knowing they might never see another day. This wasn't just translation work anymore. This was like being a detective, uncovering evidence of what might be one of the most dramatic stories of survival and resistance in human history. And then came the discovery that changed everything. The fragments from something called the Cave of Horror. And trust me, that name is not an accident. Unlike the neat, carefully preserved scrolls found in 1947, these pieces looked like they'd been through hell. They were chaotic, torn, burned, and scattered like confetti. But when AI started putting them together like the world's most impossible jigsaw puzzle, a shocking story began to emerge. These weren't written in the usual Hebrew and Aramaic that scholars expected. Some were in Greek, the language of the Roman Empire. And here's the kicker. While most of the text was in Greek, the sacred name of God, Yahweh, was still written in ancient Hebrew script. Think about that for a second. 
Imagine you're living under an oppressive regime that wants to erase your culture, your language, your very identity. But when you write about the most sacred thing in your world, God himself, you refuse to use their language. You hold on to your own. That's not just religious devotion. That's rebellion. The AI revealed that these fragments contained verses from the books of Zechariah and Nahum. Now, if you know your biblical history, these aren't just feel-good spiritual texts. Zechariah talks about returning from exile, about people coming home after being driven from their land. Nahum, that's even more intense. It describes mountains shaking before the wrath of God, divine judgment falling on oppressors. This wasn't comfort food for the soul. This was revolution wrapped in scripture. But the real breakthrough came when the AI analyzed not just what was written, but how it was written. Remember those trembling letters I mentioned? Those weren't the steady hands of professional scribes working in peaceful monasteries. These were ordinary people, probably hiding in caves, writing by flickering lamplight, knowing that Roman soldiers could discover them at any moment. The handwriting analysis revealed something that gave researchers chills. These scrolls were likely written during the Bar Kokhba revolt, a desperate Jewish uprising against Roman occupation that ended in absolute tragedy. The Romans crushed the rebellion, slaughtered thousands, and sold survivors into slavery. Now picture this scenario. You're part of a doomed resistance. You know your cause is lost, you know you're probably going to die, but you have one last act of defiance left. You take your most precious beliefs, your most sacred texts, and you preserve them for future generations. You hide them where no Roman soldier will ever find them. That's exactly what these people did. And the AI proved it by reading between the lines, literally. The technology didn't just restore faded text. It uncovered a resistance movement that had been hidden for 2,000 years. Every shaky letter, every inconsistent stroke, every deliberate choice to preserve Hebrew words in a Greek text, it all told the story of people who refused to let their identity be erased. For decades, scholars looked at these scrolls as religious documents. Important, sure, but primarily theological. The AI revealed they were something far more powerful. They were acts of defiance, declarations of war against an empire that thought it could destroy a people's soul. The verses from Nahum weren't just about divine justice in some abstract sense. They were war cries. They were messages of hope to fellow rebels, promises that their oppressors would face judgment. When these ancient writers chose Greek words to describe Roman brutality, but switched to Hebrew for God's name, they were making a statement that echoed through caves and across centuries. What's absolutely incredible is that this discovery wouldn't have been possible without artificial intelligence. Human experts had studied these fragments for decades, but they couldn't see what the AI saw. They couldn't identify the subtle patterns that connected fragments scattered across different caves. The AI brought back voices that had been silenced for millennia. It restored words that tyrants thought they had erased forever. And in doing so, it revealed that the story we thought we knew about the Dead Sea Scrolls was only half the truth. These weren't just ancient manuscripts gathering dust in a museum. They were time bombs of resistance, carefully planted by people who knew that someday, somehow, their story would be told. They were right. It just took artificial intelligence to become their translator. What makes this discovery so profound isn't just what it tells us about the past, it's what it reveals about the power of human determination. These people faced annihilation, but they found a way to speak across 2,000 years. They turned their sacred texts into secret weapons against oppression. The implications are staggering. We're not just talking about finding some old religious writings. We're talking about uncovering proof that resistance movements have been using coded messages and hidden meanings for thousands of years. These ancient rebels were way ahead of their time, embedding political statements within spiritual texts in ways that would make modern resistance fighters proud. 
And now, thanks to AI, we can finally hear what they were really trying to tell us. We can see that faith and resistance aren't separate things. Sometimes they're the same thing. We can understand that the most powerful act of rebellion isn't always picking up a sword. Sometimes it's picking up a pen. Even when your hand is shaking with fear, even when you know you might not live to see tomorrow. That's the real secret the Dead Sea Scrolls were hiding, not just ancient theology, but proof that the human spirit can never truly be conquered. Even when empires fall and civilizations crumble, the words of the determined survive. They wait patiently in desert caves until the right technology comes along to bring them back to life. And that's exactly what happened here. After two millennia of silence, the rebels finally got to tell their story. Their message of hope, resistance, and unbreakable faith has reached us across an ocean of time, proving that some truths are too powerful to stay buried forever. But here's what really gets me about this whole discovery. It's not just about the past. It's about us, right now, today. Think about what these ancient rebels did. They faced impossible odds. They knew they were going to lose. The Roman Empire was the most powerful military force the world had ever seen. These Jewish fighters were vastly outnumbered, outgunned, and had nowhere to run. But instead of giving up, instead of surrendering their identity, they did something brilliant. They turned to their pens instead of their swords. They made sure their story would survive even if they didn't. And you know what? That strategy worked better than any military campaign ever could have. The Romans are gone. Their mighty empire crumbled to dust centuries ago. But these words, these trembling letters, written in fear and desperation in dark caves, are still here, still speaking, still inspiring people 2,000 years later. That's the power of preserving truth, of refusing to let your story be silenced. These ancient writers understood something that we sometimes forget in our digital age, that words can outlast empires, that ideas can survive longer than the mightiest armies. And here's another mind-blowing detail the AI uncovered. The way these scrolls were hidden wasn't random. The placement of the jars, the specific caves chosen, even the way the scrolls were wrapped Everything was deliberate. These weren't people panicking and stuffing documents anywhere they could find. This was a coordinated effort, a carefully planned operation to preserve their culture. Imagine the meetings they must have had. Picture small groups of rebels gathering in secret, deciding which texts were most important to save, which caves were most likely to keep their precious cargo safe for generations. They were essentially creating a time capsule for the future, hoping that someday someone would find their hidden library and understand what really happened during those dark days. The AI analysis also revealed something that gave me chills. Some of these fragments show evidence of being copied multiple times. That means they weren't just preserving one set of documents, they were mass-producing their resistance literature. They were running an underground publishing operation right under the noses of Roman soldiers. These people were way more sophisticated than we ever imagined. They weren't just random rebels hiding in caves. They were organized, strategic, and incredibly forward-thinking. They understood that cultural survival was just as important as physical survival. And you want to know the craziest part? The AI discovered that some of these scrolls contain what appear to be coded messages, references that only members of their community would understand. Secret meanings hidden within religious texts that would fly right over a Roman censor's head. It's like they created the world's first resistance handbook disguised as scripture. Absolutely genius. This discovery changes everything we thought we knew about how resistance movements operate. It shows us that people have been using creative, nonviolent methods to preserve their truth and fight oppression for thousands of years. These ancient rebels weren't just ahead of their time. They were pioneers of information warfare. So the next time someone tells you that words don't matter, that ideas can't change the world, remember those trembling hands writing by lamplight in desert caves. Remember that their message of hope and resistance survived when the mightiest empire in history didn't. 
Remember that sometimes the most powerful weapon isn't a sword, it's a pen, and the courage to use it even when everything seems lost.